So, uh, just to recap, um, what I'm going to do here is give you a quick tip for being able to visualize each of the different systems, particularly for when these things get more complex and you need to know what is where without clicking it, right? So, um, under the param tab, under the input panel, we can use this thing called color swatch or color picker, or color wheel, whatever you want to use, they're all fine. Um, but I like the swatch because it's really simple. Um, so color swatch is uh, basically you need to convert the, the B rep, which is the solid box, into um, like a mesh. And so it's a thing called mesh color. And that's under the mesh tab, under the primitive panel, and this mesh colors. Okay, so don't worry yet about why it's a mesh. We're going to get into meshes and stuff at some point, but just this is an easy way for us to color it up and make it um, sort of a, an analytic diagram. So I can plug the color in, and then I pro plug the extrusion in as well, and that creates, um, you know, colored blocks. Now they look all crazy right now because I have a bunch of other geometry turned on. So best practice is to make sure you go back and turn all the extra geometry off that you don't need. Okay, so then you can just copy and paste this down to the next one, plug that in, and double click the swatch, and then you can pick a new color. So I might want, you know, like a red system, green system, and uh, I'll do like a blue system. Okay, so this gives you like an analytic diagram for, uh, for the actual boxes. Uh, something that sometimes will help, um, notice how there really aren't any um, there really aren't any like lines, right? And that's because I had to turn this stuff off. Uh, let's see, these. No, the extrusions, sorry. Um, that's because I had to turn these off because it would give me that graphic error. Um, there is a way around that. You have to basically, um, actually not basically, you have to break the geometry with a deconstruct and then only show the curves. That part's kind of weird. Um, you guys don't have to master this right now, but I'm going to show you it, and then you'll know that this video is here when you need it, okay? But you probably won't need it yet. Anyway, it looks like this. I go to um, Surface and Analysis and Deconstruct BREP, okay? Deconstruct BREP will take this geometry and break it down, and you really want to just take all of them so you can add them all in, which is kind of nice. Okay, so that's right there. And um, bring a param on for curves, and then you can you can uh, plug the edges in only. That gives you the curves, and turn that off. That gives you the curves on the outside. So that's easier to read. I know, it, it, I didn't do a lot. All I did was these two right here. Yes. Uh, deconstruct B rep is analysis. surface analysis. Okay, so um, all we did here in this segment was we added the color swatches, right? Each one, each system got a separate color swatch. Um, with the mesh colors, and then um, we we made sure that we took each extrusion, plug it into deconstruct BREP, hold shift while you're dragging it on to add multiple lines to it, and then we had to pull this on so that I could turn the other stuff that this creates off. Okay, and this is just a curve param. Questions? Oh.
Yeah. Yeah. A uh, good question. So, um, I had to turn off all other geometry except for these mesh colors. See how they're all off? So the only ones that are on right now are these mesh colors and that curve. Good question. How do you turn them off? So um, you can select all like this, like with a window, select everything you want to turn off and middle mouse click button. That's the mouse wheel. Hit that button down. And these two icons, the heads, they are, uh, that's preview on. That turns everything on. And then disable preview right there. Everything left of mesh colors, yeah. And then make sure you also turn this off as well. All right, so I'm going to uh, stop the video here and come around and make sure that you're all up to this point.